ever since Romeo was eating solid food, he ate everything, and we were super shocked. What is that? A radish. A radish. I would just be eating random stuff, and he would be like, Dada, like, I want some. So I finally found my uh, uh, food soulmate. <laughs> These are the voyages of the young boy Romeo. His continuing mission to explore strange new tastes. As we went along, as we knew that people were interested, we just said, let's make a show. And we put it together, we put a set together. We did a lot of research on all kinds of different food, fruits and vegetables and foods. And we ended up with a show. Hello, Romeo homies. Johnny and Romeo here for another episode of... Romeo, what are your three favorite foods? Um, the dragon fruit, the stinky fruit, and the mushrooms. Vision, let's crack this thing open. And what do you think it is about Romeo Eats that Cheers. resonates so much with people? Um, I think just the fact that he's three years old, four years old now, eating all these different foods and being so open-minded about food, which a lot of kids kind of are picky eaters and they don't want to try stuff and they're not willing to. So our whole goal was to not only make the show educational for parents, but also for kids and to get people inspired to try new things. Arbutita. Arbutita. We get a lot of messages from people that are in their 30s and 40s that haven't tried certain things their whole life. And they're like, wow, after I saw Romeo's love for mushrooms, I, all of a sudden I love mushrooms now. Like it's just, it's really inspiring to older people as well, which is very cool to see. This one's delicious. Romeo, something pretty exciting is happening to you. Can you tell me a bit about that? The Junos. And what is it about the Junos? You're nominated for? Children's Album of the Year, woo! It, how fun would it be to actually create a song for every single episode that has to do with whatever it is they're eating. So we started to do that and in true walk off the earth fashion we took it you know to the next level. We did every song in a different genre. We made the lyrics hilarious. We were laughing so much in the writing room and then we ended up putting albums out with the different seasons. And what do you think is going to happen at the Junos? Do you think we might win? You do. <laughs> <laughs> so how does it make you two feel to see him grow in this way and pursue yeah. these creative projects? It, I mean, it makes me feel awesome because I, don't, I never want to have to force my kids to do anything when they actually like things that I like. That makes me a very happy guy. Oh, it appears he's not finished yet. I think we're going to do a couple spin-offs. We already have one called Romeo Dines where he gets invited to um, high-end restaurants and taste tests the whole menu. There's lots of fun things in the future. For Rumbo. Yeah. Thanks, buddy.